Hello and welcome. So this video goes through the basic steps required to set up Visual Studio 2019 with Azure DevOps. It shows uh, how we automate and deploy resources within Azure in under 10 minutes uh, from start to finish. It will enable you to create a DevOps account with Visual Studio all the way through to building a virtual network ARM template using a supplied JSON uh, template in Visual Studio. So this is deploy a VNet uh, in our Azure subscription shown in this example. So we will use a Microsoft Visual Studio Community 2019, which is a free edition, and it allows you to uh, use the vast library of preloaded Azure ARM templates for your projects and Azure deployments. So this will give you a good setup baseline uh, for creating other resources in Azure via the provided um, ARM templates. So please take a moment to hit the subscribe button. Uh, new videos are posted every week on technical guides and Azure certification. All the links are in the description for Visual Studio downloads, etc. So let's get started. Here's a quick summary on what's covered in this video. We will set up Azure DevOps with Visual Studio. We will build our ARM template based upon an Azure VNet to deploy via Azure DevOps. And then we'll take a look after deployment uh, at our VNet in the Azure subscription. So first off within Visual Studio, if we go to Tools and Features, then we just want to check to see if the Azure Development SDK is installed together with PowerShell. Just make sure these are all ticked. Okay, now if we go to View and Team Explorer, and then Manage Connections, and we want to connect uh, to, a, to a new project. So we want to create a new Azure DevOps project here. So it'll ask you which country and region you're in. So within Azure DevOps, let's create a new project, type the project name, and what we'll do is we'll keep this private so only people you give access to will be able to uh, view this type of project. So we'll go to our repos which hold all our uh, code and, and project files. Well, of course, this is blank at the moment because it's a new project. So we will clone it uh, into our Visual Studio. If we sign in using our Azure credentials. So this will create a local directory within our local system uh, to enable us to create our project files. So in this case, we're cloning the repo to our local path C colon backslash dev backslash CI. Now we have our repo folder set up locally and in Azure to enable sync. We will create a new project. So we choose platform type Azure, project type cloud, and then we can choose the Azure resource group. This will allow us to provision our Azure resources via Azure Resource Manager. Now click on next. And now if we click on create, in this case, we will select a blank template, but you can actually see that we've got um, a lot of uh, templates available to us, you know, within the drop down. And, it, you know, you can scroll and search for uh, different types of templates for different types of uh, resources that you wish to provision. We use a blank template uh, in this scenario, uh, and then we can add uh, a VNet resource to it um, and we can show how we build that up from scratch. We now choose Solution Explorer from the menu and it will show us our populated uh, file structure on the right hand side. Now this is fully populated, which means the files have already been created for us. So we've got our JSON file that we can add our resources to, uh, we've got our parameters file and we've also got our PowerShell file as well. So we've double clicked the Azure deploy.json file and we can see that we've got a common um, file uh, schema structure here um, within a, a JSON format that we can now add resources to. So if we right click on resources and click add, here's a long list of resources that we can now uh, choose and add um, to our JSON file. 
um, to populate all the, the correct fields. So in this case, we're going to deploy virtual networks. So if we choose virtual networks, we type the virtual network name. And now we can see that we've got auto populated JSON now for our virtual network, which is brilliant. So, um, so basically we've got our prefixes, we've got our subnet uh, names, um, we've got all our address spaces. Um, so what we can do is we can just amend these depending on what your IP address space and subnet names will be for your particular project. So once we've saved this file, we're ready now to, to commit it locally and sync it up to uh, Azure DevOps. So if we click in the bottom right hand corner, it will prompt us to save the file if we haven't already. And now if we commit, type a comment, and now if we click sync to sync up our repo to Azure DevOps, and now we need to click push to push the branch up to Azure. So now if we move from uh, Visual Studio to Azure DevOps, if we have a look in our repos, we can now see our synced uh, file and folder structure um, being synced to our, our Azure DevOps repo here. So we can see our JSON that we amended earlier on. So the next step is to create a pipeline to um, push um, all this uh, configuration um, up to our Azure subscription um, to automate our uh, virtual network uh, creation. So we click on pipelines, click create pipeline. And if we use a classic editor for now, if we leave it by default, and then if we start with an empty job, We click plus on the agent job. If we go to deploy, and then if we choose Azure resource group deployment, if we choose our subscription and then if we click authorize, if we choose our resource group, and if we choose our region where we want the virtual network to be deployed in. And now we will select our JSON template that we created earlier on. And also if we select our parameters JSON file from the repo as well. And then click save and queue. Enter a comment if you wish, click save and run. Now this is creating our Azure VNet in our Azure subscription. Now all we would need to do after this point is any changes to the VNet, either modify or new, or any new resources, we'd go back into Visual Studio, we'd amend the JSON file with the required, required settings, uh, save, sync, push up to our repo in Azure DevOps and redeploy the pipeline. Therefore, we have a consistent and documented deployment method. Um, so the Azure pipeline has lots of other capabilities such as continuous integration and continuous delivery to regularly and consistently test and build our code and ship to any target. So we have a look after the codes are now deployed. If we go into virtual networks, look at our VNATs, uh, we can see uh, we've got our address space that we specified. Um, we've got our subnets, uh, names and IPs um, all now deployed within Azure. So thanks very much for watching the video. The links to the downloads and the comments are below in the description. Uh, please subscribe to the channel uh, to receive notifications when weekly videos are posted. So all the best uh, and take care. See you next time.